Okay. That, uh, just really very briefly about uh, uh, some topics that we know, what is evolution of breeds. This is something which is uh, every minute here when we are here. This is step by step every day uh, science uh, dogs are exist. Uh, in Nova Day, evolution are pushing because by uh, some change of uh, real use of breed. Popularity is a huge uh, um, reason why uh, some breeds are developed to some way. Lack of genetic line and um, deficiency of uh, breed regulation. Business is animal is with its uh, big problems and sometimes uh, it depends of country, of course, is incompetent on management of breed. And, of course, lack of education and of a responsible person uh, in some country. It really depends of country, depends of club, and uh, depends of kennel. Uh, we can influence uh, everything, exterior functionality, longevity, mental, ba mental balance of dogs, temperament, of course, quality of life. And who can do it? We know it's uh, everybody who is involved to breed. It's question if we have everything under control because uh, everything is changes dramatically. Something we have under control, something not. Something is going uh, uh, to better improve, something is going down. This is sometimes we are worried for, uh, for this. Uh, kinology is a um, big tree. Yes, it's a huge institution. And I would like to, to um, explain or, uh, to you um, some uh, uh, what I found, how fast are some breed in their evolution, who is main influencer, key, key opinion leaders in this process, and, so, and some risk and some opportunity in this, uh, on this way. Who is the most important component in this ch chain? This is why I say um, as first that Tamash speaks as by our words, what we need, uh, what is very important, it's good to, to know that FCI is going uh, to do changes and improve everything. This uh, cha chain is, uh, it's maybe more than chain, it's pyra pyramid. At, at the top is FCI, then kennel clubs, kennels, kennel clubs in each country. Breeders Club, Chairman of the Breed, if they are in the country, judges, breeders, and owners. It looks like a final customers or our work, our activities are breeders and owners. But uh, this channel is not uh, finished because something bad is in the air. I found one uh, market research and this uh, market research speak about um, uh, how many pure breed are in the shelter. This uh, market research was uh, made in 2007-2008 uh, in the US and then they um, update the information and I checked this information f with some uh, non-profit organization in my country and it's a uh, quite similar. Of course, uh, this number can be, be different in countries because we have, uh, we are, we have not the same rules for, for, uh, breed, for breeding. And why I told that something bad is in the air? Because this number is too high. In uh, some countries, uh, in the shelter are 25 to 50 percent of pure breed in the shelter. It's 
very, very high numbers. 80% is uh, the biggest number which I found, and uh, some huge countries, is okay, in the US, they have uh, um, pure breed, 80% in, in, in the shelter. 63% uh, was younger than three months, this is puppy. And we recognize some non-profit organization, they have, of course, tax for welfare, everything, but start to use this as a business case. Because, for example, two years ago we have a huge uh, affair in Slovakia because um, they recognize the not-profit organization sell the puppies from shelter, pure breed, to the west of Europe, and they, they make money from this. This channel is not... Uh, Mm, and uh, breeders and owners as not the uh, last units in this channel because puppies can to stay, every puppy can to stay in, in the kennel of course, they go to another owners another breeders and this question when they, they really, uh, which is, where is their final destination because from somewhere, some, somebody, they go to shops, shelters, um, and or puppy farms. And this is uh, some circle which we need to know, and maybe uh, we are enough strong to solve this problem. What is true when these uh, puppies are pure breed, this is what we do we are sometimes some, somewhere in this channel. Why this uh, study uh, speak about reason uh, one, why, why these puppies uh, are in, uh, or dogs are in the shelter? The most reason is accidental litters. The litters. They come to say, okay, I didn't want to use this dog for, for breeding, and then all puppies go to the shelter. Uh, they, uh, people does, don't know if they allow a pet in landlord. Too many animals in house. Reason, all dog is very sad, or they they suddenly recognize that uh, the dog is too big. They don't want to, to have this uh, too big dog. Mm, owners have personal problems, illness, uh, or no homes av available for litter mates, having no time for pet. Illness and biting. This is not uh, mm, uh, speaking about uh, mentality and uh, uh, of uh, the of some breeds on some some dogs. Uh, this is blue. I think this is yeah reason which we can uh, influence because everything is reason of um, re uh, sorry results of uh, education because people didn't have information about how size of dog will be, how old can be dog, and or they didn't have information about uh, uh, how money they need spent for, for a dog. Missing information. Then, recent study says about um, which kind of information uh, the new owners have and this study shows that one in four, it's one quarter of uh, uh, new owners don't have information about breed, how they keep train socialization, tabula rasa. 
about uh, dogs. And three in four, they think, yes, they, they are enough informed and they can have dog. Then come to, which, uh, to um, information from this study, which kind of uh, communication or, or which kind of information they have. Forty percent of, because now we, we are speaking about this uh, green, three of, three quarter of uh, uh, breeders or owners, which means they are informed. And 40% uh, of owners, they, they took or they take information fa from face-to-face -face communication. It's maybe good, maybe not, but what does it mean face-to-face -face communication and which kind of information they have about this bro uh, breed which um, they, bu they buy. Breeders Club makes some seminars, okay, but it's not for, usually it's not for a new owner. Usually it is uh, for breeders uh, uh, which, uh, who are involved in the breeding. Uh, in, uh, at these seminars, uh, exact in our country, we don't have a high number of participants. Uh, we don't know if uh, really information which are uh, present are really professional. Who is responsible for these contents? If uh, it is continual, edu education usually is not. Or if speakers have uh, teaching skills, if you can explain what what he mean, because uh, sometimes uh, attendees thinking about one, speakers speak about B, and the reality is totally different. New owners have uh, information from some community where they live. They took information from party, dinner, from colleagues, face to face, just uh, speaking about uh, some dogs, yes, it's very nice, small, it's good for dog, for, for house, for flat. This is all. We don't know, is, uh, but, or we know, it's not real, trustful, really trustful information. If they have information from reader, it's not, sh we are not sure if uh, this reader is really well educated, if they explain that the breed should uh, be in this shape, this size, this color, because maybe some reader wants to just sell puppy. If they, they have good communication skills to explain everything. Let's speak about 60% of uh, um, source of information. It's nowadays, it's uh, Facebook, Instagram, online, everything that is pushing us from everywhere. Uh, have you, uh, you can see that Facebook we use uh, here in Europe is uh, using 78 uh, um, new owners to know something new because they, they they go to Facebook and looking for some uh, nice pictures. Uh, they read uh, communication uh, uh, under subject, and this is information which they have. Uh, second one is Leo broadcast from exhibition. Because, yes, we totally change um, destination between uh, breeders, between owners, because now we can see Basin Show from US, Basin Show from Crafts with comments, and we need to know this is really very powerful uh, source of information. And some really very, very experienced group use webinars, but uh, it's not for 
everyone because uh, a lot of people don't know what this means and don't know use it. This means 60 percent percent of uh, uh, information they take from social media. Okay, what is who is our right focus? Who is this which should be pushing by us, by, by, by um, social area uh, and uh, for education and everything what we mean about this. Who is the most visible unit? Uh, who have the high or the highest impact? We should go one in this chain, one step um, before breeders because judges, it seems like are very important key opinion leaders and stakeholders in this, this area because they are involved to face-to-face -face communication at the real show. They are member of breeders, uh, breeders group that they can involve uh, their information during uh, a meeting, face-to-face uh, -face communication, they are uh, very often uh, famous breeders. They can influence uh, with uh, opinion. And they are on the pictures on social media, videos on social media, and main star, uh, very often main star in Leo broadcast. That's mean they are in 40%, they can involve, uh, 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 influence 40 percent of communication face to face and of course people they show, uh, so see them on the social media why judges is very are very important yes uh, be judge is some privilege but uh, how I told before this privilege is for us responsibility as well. Because, of course, breeders and judges must keep in mind all elements of standards because uh, they need to know everything about exterior, health, temperament, quality, uh, and they can involve this, this feature and quality of life, of course. When they are leader and they are responsible for something, um, they should be the person who knows the way for improvement, goes this way, and show the way. This is, they should be some ethanol of a good breeder and uh, some mentors for young people, young breeder. Judges show and introduce their point of view, the etalon, their standard, right direct direction for development of an exterior and temperament. Judges are very influential. They affect feeling, taste, opinion of new as well as experienced breeders. Can you believe me? Because I'm a breeder and I show my dog at the show and I'm judge as well. I know both sides. I know what is uh, uh, very influenced. Do you know this situation? It's dog show. These pictures was made five seconds after best of breed when the judge says who is best of breed. Five, sec five seconds. And people at the show, they have own micro world in, in, in the head. They have own reason why they are here, there, what they are looking for. And they think about uh, by their way. For example, maybe this 
exhibitors thinks why she's running ten, ten rings because maybe judge uh, doesn't know standard and then uh, he need to think uh, a little bit longer about her dog. Best of breed, she, th she is thinking, okay, custom, often is okay, everything is top for Facebook, I'm prepared. Every, everyone, they have problem, own problems. Okay, we know this. Um, these messages for everyone. Uh, for example, this young uh, girl, she starts to thinking, okay, I will ask a fa father for extra money and I will buy a very similar puppy. This one, I will buy him after show because he has money and use in my puppy farm for all females. Why not? Yeah. Ah, so I find my uh, stud dogs. Another old breeders, they think, I don't know, I don't understand why, but this may be new trend, I should uh, accept it. And these three women maybe buy three puppies from this kennel because they want to have the same dog. Because we are human, everybody wants to have copy the best. Who for, from us goes to the dog show and want to buy puppy who is totally different of uh, best in show winner? I think nobody wants this because if they are looking for some good dog, they, they, they follow this best of breed. Everybody wants to have glory because everybody wants to be successful. We would like to be, for a short time, a star. But believe me, popularity of breed, easy advertisement on social media, and our desire for success and glory, it's really very bad relationship. Because this is reason of the same motivation and uh, similar is not the same as original. And people at the dog show, they don't know these differences. Very often they don't feel, they don't know why, because they see maybe long uh, code, but they don't understand really that the dog can't have maybe bad angulation. They, they see only regarding on their the knowledges. Let's uh, see some history. This is beautiful breed. If you don't know which kind of breed this is, it's a bull mastiff in 1860. I like this breed because start to be full of energy, happy, very good uh, uh, they have, usually they have good character and nice expression. These changes was made during 150 years. I like this improvement, I like this change. It's my, my opinion. Beautiful breed, it looks like healthy, with enough long muscle, but with very nice shape of muscle with color, everything, front, they, they can uh, help, have healthy bread, bread because enough brought fortress chest. But we have this example because advertisement is what, is, what has not good influence for us. If you see some star with this dog, you want to have the same and Result is sometimes we have in the ring this kind of dog. Do you recognize this breed? In 1883, it is uh, Mops. Book? Mops. Yes. And a result of 130 years. Baby face, 
but maybe with some problems. I know a lot of uh, mobs which are healthy, full of energy, but I don't know if this You don't hear? Do you hear this bleeding? What's that? Pure. It's not pure dog, it's poor dog. Which breed it is? It is 1894 Golden Retriever. Beautiful, lovely breed. A lot of beautiful pictures. He's still really golden. Sometimes yes, sometimes not. This is the result 120 years. Nineteen for Chow Chow. I like this type nowadays. One hundred ten years Chow Chows goes to this beautiful, well balanced, the same format. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Mm. But we still have modern type, and this type can be healthy as well. Just uh, we need to be careful because not every puppies or every every activities of uh, breeders know about coat, about muzzle, about healthy eyes or legs. Okay. Very popular breed, Tibetan Mastin, and 1940, and nowadays, only 80 years, and we have this really very nice breed. I speak about this type of breed, this type of uh, Tibetan Mastiff is nice. They are usually healthy, with uh, very good uh, personality on, and temperament. But uh, what we can expect from uh, next future for this breed. When you see this advertisement, because this is the most expect, expensive dog, everybody wants to have a copy of this most expensive dog at home. They start to show uh, this kind of advertisement uh, in some magazine, newsletters, and this is the result. This is one of the farm for Tibetan Mastiff. This is Tibetan Mastiff's kennel. What next? Maybe you, you saw this uh, advertisement. We sell miniature gold retriever, white gold retriever. You know why? From experience from my breed, this, you can see Sharpays, which is called flowers color. If they have some puppy with flowers colors, they have new owners as first, and they sell it twice, three times more expensive than normal pure breed <laughs> which are 
uh, in standard. This is Tibetan Mastiff. This new presentation of this breed as a lion. And I will speak about my breed, of course, because under FCI, advertisement, mini pay, flowers pay, everything. Yes, we need to, to speak about ourselves. This is a very famous picture of stability and mastiff. This is very emotional pictures. And this is Tibetan Mastiff in some area of world, in some canals. That is the reason why I say popularity, plus with not good taste and knowledge, but knowledge to make advertisement on social media are not good relationship. I like this breed. In 1935, is Pekingese. Nobody, they need only, only 80 years to change this uh, breed. And I would like to show you this. This video is from 1940. but you can always bet there'll be quite a crowd to watch this race. It's an appetizer for party guests who come here before watching the real thing at Goodwood Race Week. They deserve a reward, but not so much... Now our judge looking at the characteristic black mask of this fawn Pekingese, such a big winner in this country. Eric is four years old now, owned by Albert Easton and Philip Martin handled by Bert Easton in the ring. 44 cc's, this is quite some champion. He is the breed record holder now. He's taken over the breed record. Bert Easton, very successful breeder from Scotland. He's had best in show at clubs before. This dog following famous ancestry. Just getting arranged before we move, because with all that coat, we've got to look just right. Yes, low set and sturdy. There's a lot of substance in the dog, especially at the front end. They're broad chested, lighter in the hind quarters, but the head should be wide and shallow, envelope shaped, but large dark eyes and a lovely dark mask to set off that expression. They go with a dignified rolling action, as we see there, which comes from the wide chest. Such was their popularity by the and in the most beautiful condition. Yes, without being overcoated. They don't need too much coat. This is just shows off the body shape nicely. Wonderful action, typical of the breed. Boys at crafts. Eighty years, can you have please? Eighty years, eighty years. It was enough for this change. Irish, Irish setter in 1954, and in Nova days only sixty years. Working dog, step by step, change, shape coat and maybe uh, maybe ability to work maybe I don't know I, I I just see what I see 60 years is a very short time in breeding do you recognize this breed 1915 what Bull Terrier you can see 
how short time is enough to change expression, line of head, and totally type of dog. Here between you can see school is 1931 and only 20 years you can see differences and after 40 years huge, huge differences of the bone. We can plus 50 years and we see after 90 years totally different breed. I don't say it's bad or, or wrong. I'm not breeder of the, these uh, terriers, of course. I just want to show you how important is to follow standard and recognize type of dog if we are inside of the ring. And these problems are because we make some little benevolence, maybe lack of education, maybe pushing by popularity, and maybe with not enough uh, some professional regulation of the breed. Okay. Who did it? Yes, yeah, not me, but maybe I am inside of this community who did it. You never know, because you can see enough is 30, 40, 50, 50 years, and we can really very dramatically change everything. We can devastate everything, but this is opportunity for us because if uh, 30 years is enough for devastation, I'm sure 30, 40, 50 years is enough for make positive improvements. Just we can't to say we can't because we need longer time. Every drop in the ocean is counts. Every hour decision is counts not only as breeders, but as judge, this day at the every show, every drop is count, every hour decision as a breeder judge is count. Now we are, we have baseline and background is product of our previous colleagues, judges, and I'm sure we are enough young to see result our acting. Why you, I'm sure? I can explain you very, very short because this is breed which um, I can't to stay, uh, speak. I don't know to speak very shortly about Charpe because I'm really in love with this breed, but I will try. I thought 25 years I am in this breed. And I saw development, I saw, I see what we can do during this short time for positive improvement and positive welfare of this breed. Because around 1973, we had really very sick sick breed, and when FCI changed standard and we start to follow it, dramatically we change time and health our breed. This is a very important, and you can see these big differences. Why is education very important, and why judges? I can see, I don't want to have extreme experience because I remember nowadays history with a lot of skin and skin are results of hyaluron. Hyaluron in cause kidney problems and in inflammation on our ears. Everything is connecting. Now, 
we have much, much healthy breed, but with not appropriate education of judges, we can have in really very near future, second extreme, our breed without features, without typical features of the breed. This is very important to know that we can influence. This we do after 20 years and we can lose typical expression of this breed when we will not follow right information and the right education of breed. That's a question for you. I will show you some pictures and please think about what this person, this real person on these pictures, have common and what various differences that. This is real professor of medicine in Canada. Real, really. <laughs> Policeman. Teacher. Bar dancing, sir. Tractor drivers. Elizabeth Queen. And this young businessman, a really very, very successful businessman, but he is uh, colorblind. What they have common, everybody can be owner and breeder. Everybody is with different education, ethical and mental skills. Everybody can be judge in case of open country rules. Why I mention this? When I was thinking about uh, essential quality of the judge, we say, I will show you, uh, the important is brain, important is hair, and important is courage. And we say head, hairs, and balls to have to, to do some decision. What does mean brain of judges? Judge. This is knowledge of the breed, knowledge of the genetic about genetics and biology, extraordinary knowledge of standards, experience, of course, analytical reasoning continual education and a willing to learn. Heard is empathy for breed, empathy for breeder and exhibitor as well, responsibility, what we do inside of ring, willingness, explain our decision, justice, and high moral ethics. Courage, ability to say no, express own opinion, even it's not very positive and popular, define the problem, says about problem, why I decide to say, okay, it's very good because, and if you see problems, request corrective mechanisms. That is why judge should have brain, hair, and carriage. My conclusion, in nowadays we know, and uh, when I, I heard and listened that much, I, I have bigger hope. A lot of things are extraordinary good and useful. A lot of positive changes are in process. Breeders are crucial in the long chain of the stakeholders in the kinology, judges are the most influential key opinion leaders. And from my perspective, I think we need uniform education system with appropriate education curricula, guidelines, train-to-train -train seminars to ensure 
uh, lectures have an appropriate teaching schools. I was attended many seminars and really it was not work for me because uh, lectures was not very enthusiastic for topic, just, oh, I'm here, I will tell you something. And they tell not really very important things. We need continual education for readers and for judges. We need to know that Facebook and Google are not the right education of platform. We need stronger responsibility for maybe international clubs. They are uh, focused on the one breed because there are really people they live for this uh, breed. They can help with uh, some umbrella for right education and request high moral behavior without compromise. Because yes, we are free choice, but our choice is not free for consequences. If you want to change the world, start with yourself. That's, I will. Thank you.